so I'm on the flight from Dubai to Amman and I've just checked my email. It's the middle of the night, but we've been traveling all of yesterday and we expected a permit to be in my email. Um, sorry, I don't put my kids' faces in anything on social media, so I'm just gonna edit that a little bit out and start again. So anyways, there's no permit in my email, so we're not sure what's going on. They said that they would give it to me um, for whatever date I wanted to travel and come, and this is the dates I had my flights for, so now I'm going to just go to a hotel in Amman and stay there until we have word of what's going on next. Okay, so we're landing. We're landing uh, in Amman, Jordan right now. I'm on Emirates Airline, lots of screaming kids, not mine, thank God. Um, it is uh, after 1 a.m. here, around 6 p.m. New York time. So we left Sunday night at 11 p.m. And it is, we arrive in Amman, Jordan, Sunday night, uh, sorry, Monday night, 6 p.m. New York time. Now, um, just remember, like, okay, that's travel. That's international travel time. But everybody whose destination is Jordan, they're now in their home country. But Palestinians can't fly into Palestine. So we fly into Israel. Um, okay, sorry. No, Palestinians can't fly into Palestine. They're not allowed to have airports. The Israelis don't allow that. So we have to fly into Jordan. So once you arrive in the airport, you then have another... Let's say the fastest you could possibly get home on the most perfect crossing of the bridge that could exist would be um, four hours, let's say four and a half hours. That's very unlikely. It's more likely that it would be uh, six to maybe 12 hours to get home. And coming, when you're coming, exiting Palestine and trying to travel internationally and you need to go to Jordan, it can add a lot more than that because flight times might be at eight in the morning and you have to cross the bridge and the bridge is only open from eight to 12 or eight to 2 p.m. right now. So you have to go catch an 8 a.m. flight. Well, you have to leave the day before at 8 a.m. to get across the bridge and then hang out at the airport or get a really expensive hotel room to wait. And that's exploitation, you know? The amount of money we fork out in this process to go through Jordan, and it's exhausting. So we are about to land. I have a sleeping almost five-year-old who is like really tired, but gonna have to be pushing bags with me. And my baby, obviously really exhausted as well, but I can wear her, so here we go, we've landed. So we are in Amman, not even close to home, even though it, you know, it's like an hour and a half drive or hour 45 minute drive if we were to drive straight to Ramallah but we're not even close because it is such a process now and an ordeal for us.